would stop these services from being double taxed. News 10 Capital correspondent Zachariah Wheaton looks at how this proposed legislation would make Michigan more business friendly. Business research company Statista Consumer Insights says nearly 40% of U.S. consumers use grocery delivery services like Instacart and Shipt. However, those companies are paying extra to operate here in Michigan. As lawmakers are hoping to fix that, introducing legislation that would allow those companies to deduct sales tax from certain transactions. They reached out and they said, hey, we love the state of Michigan. We love doing business with Meyer and Walmart and everybody, but we're getting double taxed and that's not a good thing. Under current Michigan law, delivery companies working with local merchants must collect and pay a sales tax on transactions, which is what you'd expect. Where the problem comes in is that those companies are essentially paying a second sales tax when they collect the tax from the consumer. They probably came about before Shipt and Instacart were even a thought, and so it's just, are we is Michigan modernizing for these new businesses and for these new business models uh, to make them essentially attract them to the state of Michigan and I think this bill would do that. The bills would allow the Michigan Department of Treasury to let grocery delivery services to deduct sales tax they paid to retailers from their own tax liabilities. Bill sponsor Republican Representative Graham Filler said the legislation would be a big help to companies like Shipt who recently made layoffs back in October after seeing demand level off. We talked to Treasury, which does the intake of taxes. They said, this is a real problem. We acknowledge that. And we said, okay, let's go forward. Now, Representative Fillers says he has spoke with the Treasury Department and says changes have to be made in order to make Michigan a more business-friendly state. Reporting here in Lansing, I'm Zach Rye Wheaton, News 10. Representative Filler predicts these bills will move through the legislature very quickly. New information tonight, the state Supreme Court has ruled that two men who ran a robocall campaign during the 2020 election 